Meanwhile, tonight, police still don't know exactly who killed Margaret Meend. You may remember she was a homeless woman who was found stabbed to death in a vacant lot on East Washington Street last Friday. Well, after we aired the story here at 5 o'clock, we heard from a lot of people from you who were very, very touched and you wanted to help out as well. Our Mary Mills tonight is on how one woman, though, is working to make sure that Margaret has a proper burial. Lisa Kuhn says when she heard what happened to Margaret Means here, she was shocked, saddened, and determined to make sure Margaret's not forgotten. One minute she would be talking to you about funny things that would really, really make you laugh. Uh, the next minute she had great sympathy for things you were going through in your life. Uh, she was giving and caring and she never said a word about things in her life being really bad. Lisa Kuhn says Margaret would come into her business a couple times a month, never letting on she was living in a vacant lot. She says Margaret even brought gloves when Lisa's business held a clothing drive for the homeless. Now Lisa wants to do something for Margaret. She deserves to have um, dignity. She was a nice lady. I don't know what happened in her life to put her where she ended up, but I hope that we can all come together and do something so that she can have a proper burial. Lisa and her colleagues also plan to do something to help other women now living like Margaret was. Her last name was Means, so we plan on putting together like um, blessing boxes or blessing kits that have things for women that are homeless, and we're going to put a label on it that said Margaret means something to us, because she did mean something to us. Um, she wasn't just a person with no name. She was a nice lady, and, I mean, it really is a loss. Margaret does have a daughter who Lisa's been in touch with. She says she's of limited means and certainly overwhelmed by the loss of her mother. So she is setting up a GoFundMe page to help cover burial expenses. You can link to it by going to WTHR.com. On the city's east side, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.